Aloha, welcome to Oahu, and welcome to Hawaii's only TV news for visitors, the Wear TV Hawaii Weekly News. I'm Paul Drews, here to tell you about some of the things that are happening in and around Waikiki. First up is Where to Go, an overview of events and activities of interest around town this week. Then there's the Weather Report and the Surf Report. And if you happen to miss any part of the Wear TV Hawaii Weekly News and want to catch it again, this broadcast is repeated throughout the day, approximately every two hours. This week, take time to celebrate the arts of Hawaii. The Waikiki Arts Fest features approximately 75 to 100 artists and handcrafters who display their own art for sale. Their collections include everything from jewelry to clothing to wood products, stained glass, and much, much more. Food and entertainment will also be on hand. The Arts Fest happens June 19th and 20th from 9 a.m. through 4 p.m. at Kapiolani Park in Waikiki. That's the big park located at the base of Diamond Head and admission to the Arts Fest is free. Well, speaking of art, why not take time to experience Hawaii's most artful and authentic dance, the hula. Dancers perform the hula weekly at the beautiful Kohio Beach. The show includes authentic Hawaiian music and hula performances, as well as a torch lighting ceremony. It's offered every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday nights, weather permitting. You'll find the show at the Kohio Beach Hula Mound on Waikiki Beach along Kalakaua Avenue in Waikiki. Look for the mound near the Duke of Hanamoku statue and the large banyan trees. Now the show lasts about an hour and if you're going you may want to bring a towel or a beach mat as there is only lawn seating. You may also want to bring a little picnic or fast food dinner with you and enjoy dinner and a show. Show times are at 6 30 p.m. And if you're in the mood for more beauty head down to Margot Tahitian Pearl. The recently opened store in the Waikiki Shopping Plaza offers beautiful and unique pearls straight from Tahiti. The store allows you to customize your own jewelry. Hand select the pearls of your choice to create that one-of-a-kind authentic look. But they're very unique. You cannot find one of the same. The colors is different, the shape is different, the sizes. Um, depending on the person, they can find the right pearl for them. No other person will have the exact same ones. The store's pearls can be crafted into everything from necklaces and bracelets to rings and earrings. Bring home treasures from the ocean from your trip to the islands. And just in time for Father's Day, things will be revving up at the Aloha Tower Marketplace, which will host the Roadrunner Build the Track Motorsports Show on Saturday, June 19th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. This completely non-profit event will provide motorsports enthusiasts and spectators alike a chance to see over 200 custom, classic, and modified vehicles that will really get your motor running. Everything from racing to off-road to strip and street, including cars, trucks, bikes, and more. The vehicles will be parked on the Boat Days Promenade in front of Aloha Tower throughout the marketplace in Pier 11 and along Pier 9 overlooking the water. This show is a family-friendly event that also includes free entertainment activities, including RC ex exhibitions, cakey bouncers, face painting, carnival games, video game tournaments, as well as live music and entertainment. Call 808-782-7432 for more information. If this is your first visit to Oahu or return trip, you'll find many exciting things to see and do here. You may want to take a dive into the ocean and see the beautiful and scenic waters of Hanama Bay a protected marine park known for its abundance of water life and corals in a safe swimming environment. Hanama Bay is located about eight miles to the east of Waikiki and is a very popular place with both locals and visitors alike. There's an introductory film to show you what's in store in the bay and how to have a fun time while you're there. And then see fish, turtles and other water life at this popular snorkeling spot. Hanama Bay is open every day except Tuesdays and the bay can only hold 2,000 people at any given time and the bay quickly fills up. Call 396-4229 for more on the Hanama Bay Nature Preserve. And if you want to see what's in our waters but don't want to get wet, you can always stop by the Waikiki Aquarium found along Kalakaua Avenue by Diamond Head. At the aquarium, there are thousands of species of fish and other creatures that call our waters home. You can see giant clams, jellyfish, and sharks swimming around this facility. There's also a pair of monk seals that call the aquarium home. Learn about the importance of corals for the islands as you spend the day under the sea. There are also numerous kids programs and special attractions at the Waikiki Aquarium. To find out more about this small ocean center, call 923-9741. And you may also want to head to the aquarium for their summer concert series held on Thursday evening from 7 to 8.30 p.m. 
This concert will feature some of Hawaii's top local musical stars performing under the stars of Waikiki. And speaking of music, you can learn how to play the ukulele while you're here. And it's not as hard as you might think. Every week, the Royal Hawaiian Shopping Center offers free lessons, like learning how to play the ukulele, how to craft lay, or take in some hula moves. These free lessons do more than just provide a fun experience for you. It also perpetuates the Hawaiian culture. Each day, there's something different at different times at the center. You can not only learn hula, you can also watch it being performed each night, except Sundays, at the Hula Show that starts at 6 o'clock in the evening. Head to the Royal Hawaiian Shopping Center for shopping and a Hawaiian history lesson during your stay. To find out more about the cultural classes, call 922-2299 or just head down to the Royal Hawaiian Shopping Center, which is located along three city blocks on Kalakaua Avenue in the heart of Waikiki. Well, be sure to get up early and catch the sunrise or head to the beach for a spectacular sunset. The sunrise is just before 5.50 in the morning and the sun sets around 7.15 in the evening. And our island weather will be sunny this week, but at times the winds will be breezy. On some days, those winds will be blowing up to 25 miles an hour, and the gusty winds will occasionally push in some of the clouds and showers to the leeward side of the island, like Waikiki, especially at night. But for the most part, during the day, expect partly cloudy skies and the showers staying mainly over the eastern side of the islands, as well as in the mountains. Now, during the day, the high temperature will get into the mid-80s, and at night, the overnight low temperatures will cool off to around 74 degrees. Those breezy trade winds will keep the surf up on the eastern side of the island, at least to start off the week, where the waves on some days will reach 5 feet. But as those winds drop, so will the eastern surf. Our north and western shores will also see a few waves to start off the week, but then die down as well, while southern shores, like Waikiki, will have the biggest surf this week, mostly up to 6 feet for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, then a little smaller throughout the rest of the week. But just remember, when you do head to the ocean, always ask a lifeguard about conditions before you go in. Even though many others may be in the water, if you're unsure of your ability or of the surf itself, don't go in. Just enjoy the waves from the safety of the shore. Now, wherever the day takes you, don't forget to use sunscreen. We recommend an SPF of 25 or higher to protect yourself from the strong summer sun's rays. And of course, you can't take me with you when you're out and about, but there is a local tour guide with up-to-date information on where to go, what to eat, what's in store for entertainment, and other helpful tips. Look for the Best of Oahu magazine in Waikiki Kiosk. Thanks for tuning in to Wear TV Hawaii, the first TV network for visitors. And again, if you missed any part of the Wear TV Hawaii weekly news and want to catch it again, this broadcast is repeated throughout the day, every day, approximately every two hours. You can also find us on Facebook at MVP Hawaii. There you can see links to this broadcast in addition to our Twitter and YouTube updates. I'm Paul Trues. Thanks for watching and aloha.